Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we've seen the examples, simple examples of the sorted transformation. Today, we'll take a look at another implementation of this transformation, another use of it actually. So, we can use the sorted transformation to get unique records after a union transformation. What we need to do is we need to remove the duplicate rows coming from the union transformation before loading it into the target table. Let's move on to the power center designer and see the union transformation example that we've created in earlier tutorials. Connect using the administrator and Oracle password. Open the trainings folder and here is the mapping that we've created earlier for the union transformation. We will transfer data from two employee tables with department ID 50 and 80 each. Bring them in the union transformation and then populate the target table, the employees table from it. And we have duplicate rows coming in the employees one table source table. So let's see what happens when we run this workflow. It's running and we have 124 rows loaded into the target table. So let's go to the target database and see what the data is and here we can see that two rows for each department employee ID have been loaded into it as they are duplicate rows. Now we need to remove these duplicate rows so we'll use a sorter transformation for that. Let's go to the mapping workflow, uh, the mapping designer and here we can see the two employee tables bring in data to the union transformation. Let's see what is in the union transformation. Double click on it. There are two ports, port groups, employees one group and the employees two group. And then there's the output group with these group ports. What we need to do is we need to remove the output links to the target table. and bring in the sorter transformation between the two. Select the sorter transformation which is the AZ icon. Bring it over here. Now bring in the output ports of the union transformation to this sorter transformation. Double click on it. Rename it. Okay, in the port properties tab, select distinct. This way when you go to the ports tab, you see that all the columns have been selected as key columns by default. This means that all the columns, all the rows will be sorted based on all of these columns and therefore the duplicates will be eliminated. Now populate the target table using the sorted transformation and the auto link property. Click OK and there you have it. We have created the new mapping where we eliminate this duplicate rows using sorted transformation after union transformation. Save your work, go to the workflow manager, refresh your mapping. Save the work. Now let's run the session, the workflow, and see whether the duplicates are being eliminated or not. It's running. And there you have it, 79 rows loaded to the target table, which earlier were 124 or something like that. So let's go to the target table and see what the data is loaded there. Connect to test one ODBC connection using the username, target and password target as well. Now select steric from employees. Seventy nine rows, and you can see that only one row for each employee ID is there, hence, the duplicates have been eliminated. This was a really simple example of using the sorter transformation for the duplication, duplicate row elimination. So, I hope you have a better understanding of this transformation. In the following videos, we'll be taking a look at more of the transformations. So, take care of yourself, stay with us, and bye bye.